New York, it has to be the busiest place in the world. And it's hard to stop and see the face of hunger around us. If you've never been hungry, I'm gonna describe how it feels to be hungry. And it was a guy just purchased a hot dog. I wanted to take the hot dog and run. Walking around the street, you have hunger pains in your stomach. This is a couple nights before this, I was looking around for, for slices of bread just to mush together to eat. You're wondering where you're gonna get to the next meal. That's how hungry I was. That thought entered my mind. Thought never entered my mind before to steal from another. I never wanna feel like that ever again. When I started off, it's just one of the customers, you know, so I know how it feels to be in need of food. This is gonna make a big difference for me. Having a real meal today, you know, something that I can really go to sleep with and not have hunger pains. It's a bad feeling. It's hard to explain, but I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't want to be there again. It's hard, especially when you have school-age children. I'm a single mom, I mean, I'm not working at the time. Well, if it wasn't places like this, it would be hard for me to, um, to eat and to feed, my, to feed my kids. I had surgery on my shoulder, and I've been out of work for over a year, so I ended up losing my apartment. A lot of people are starving here in the city. I worked for 18 years as a lab technician in Beth Israel Medical Center. I uh, have a degree. I've been out of work for quite some time. As much as things change, they still remain the same. Uh, you still see hungry people um, regardless of wherever you go. Open your door and open your eyes. I see a lot of food thrown out that could feed somebody. Most of the time I get up from a nice dinner and I'm very aware that most of the people on this earth have never had a meal like that. We were giving out turkeys, and I realized we are doing such a wonderful thing because without this, this pe these people wouldn't have Thanksgiving. And I went home that night and I cried. There are hundreds of thousands of people in this city who don't know where their next meal is coming from, and they don't know where their child's next meal is coming from. One of the hardest things to see are hungry children knowing that those kids are not going to be able to do well in school. One little girl came over and said, you, City Harvest, you're here? Oh, thank you so much. And she hugged me. I seen the line go around the block, like literally like 300 people. I mean, that's a lot of people. People waiting, and they just stand up and cheered, and, and you know, it's like this rush just came into me, you know? It was amazing. The help from City Harvest really helps me, like, you know, make it through, you know? a rough time, especially just like the winter months. They have nothing to go to besides these places that we deliver to. These are just people who are trying desperately to survive. You know, they're working, they may even get public assistance, but it's just not enough. I wouldn't know what to do. I think I would go through a lot of hunger. New York's a big, overwhelming city, and we shouldn't lose sight of helping our neighbor. They shouldn't have to decide, do I go to the doctor or do I feed my kids? I know how hard it is for folks to make it you know, day to day. I know what it's like at the end of the month to run out of money. Are we going to pay the rent, or are we going to have something to eat or heat? It's not fair that these folks worked for 30 or 40 years. There's an awful lot of people who are one or two steps away from being hungry and these are elderly people that are forced to wait out in the cold. It's not their fault that they don't have enough, and that's what we're here for. I really appreciate everything you guys are doing. I really do. We don't, one of the reasons that she gets to eat is because, you know, because of City Hall. And, you know, that felt, that, that felt really good. That made me feel, feel like a little hero. So that makes a big difference between eating one night or not, you know. I was approached by a man who asked me if I was with City Harvest, and I said yes, and he pressed $20 into my hand. The thing that's best for our survival as a species is to be empathetic and compassionate with each other. And said, I've been helped through this mission by City Harvest, and my luck's changed, and I'm really glad to have the opportunity to give back, and I hope I can keep giving back, and that my luck will continue to change. The euphoric feeling that I get, it makes me feel good to see people that kid. The 17 years I've been here, it still gives me goosebumps. It could be you. So uh, we should never look down at anybody. And if we do, it should be because we're trying to pick them up. Not everybody's got a job. Not everybody's lucky. Whether the truck gets the food or whether the truck drops the food off that day does make the difference as to whether people go to bed hungry at night or not. 
Food is love to me, and so I think of City Harvest as just being this really benevolent, loving force, and they're doing more than just feeding people, they're feeding their souls, too. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't have anybody to love them. And to tell people that there are people who care about you. You don't have to be hungry to understand what hunger means, to give people hope. I know there's no reason for them to be hungry. Food is, is, is everything to all of us. It's, it means love, it means comfort, it means family. Love goes a long way. And just, you know, hand somebody something that, uh, you know, a warm drink. And just to smile at them and make eye contact and, and to know that they appreciate you being here. And just, just an awesome thing to be able to help people. With that. Just open your eyes and open your, your heart. And you'll see that, you know, it's necessary to contribute. Imagine if people stopped caring for other people. Just imagine. It's the family of man. That's what it is, the family of man. The people that you pass on the street are the very people that you may have to turn to one day and say, I need help, so let's help one another. Take a minute to open your eyes and see that there are hungry people all around us. 